Hello everybody, I'm going to do a quick time tutorial today on how to record your screen with audio or a microphone, external microphone. I'm going to try to do a quick and easy one because I know there's a lot of videos out there, they're very in detail, these guys do a great job. But I'm thinking we do a quick one as easy as possible. So basically you're going to go to QuickTime, I have it right here, or you can actually just search button, hit the search button and type up QuickTime player there you go it's right there and it comes up basically you open up QuickTime and at this moment you just hit this cancel button right here and move up to QuickTime player right on the upper left corner go on the file hit new screen recording this screen will pop up what you always want to make uh, make sure you do is uh, click on the drop down arrow right next to the record button and here you're going to have the microphone options that your computer has available in my case I'm going to use my external microphone which is which is a Junevo JV601 another option that shows up here it shows a uh, show the mouse clicks in recording if you want to show them you click on that if you don't want to you just click on it so it's not check marked next to it also right here what you want to do is you want to make sure that this uh, button next to the vo volume levels is all the way down if you start to increase this what happens is you're going to get an echo you're going to hear yourself talking basically so it's always wise to keep this all the way at the, at the end of the the volume options so once you've done that basically hit the record button and now you're going to get this option, this, this pop-up screen that's going to say click to record to full screen. That means you could click on your mouse anywhere at any time and it will record everything that's on your screen, wherever it's shown there. Or you could do a drag, just like I'm doing right now, and uh, you could record a portion of your screen. You can move it up and down, and what you could also do is just eventually maximize it all the way to record the entire screen just like I'm doing right now. Once you've done that, hit start recording. And right now it is recording. But what you want to be careful and what you want to do is until this button here turns completely black, uh, it takes a couple of seconds. So basically you want to wait for it to turn completely black and uh, then you can start speaking and doing what you got to do on the screen. Otherwise you'll be losing a couple of seconds there. Once you're done recording, once you've done your full tutorial, then the way to stop the quick time is just click on the button there, on the black button, and you're going to get this screen. You could test it by hitting play. Once you've done that, then just a couple of ways to save the video. You could go to file and save. Or my favorite way is just click on the red button here. It's not going to delete it automatically. So what it does is it brings up this pop-up screen. And you got a couple of options here. So obviously you want to either leave it untitled or give it a title, which I'm going to say quick time. And if you want to delete the video because you're not happy with it for any reason, just click on delete and the video will completely be deleted without saving it anyway. But if you're saving it, like I said, give it a name, whatever, in my case I'm giving it a quick time, then it's going to pick up, a give you the options of a location where you want to save it. By default on my computer is the iCloud for QuickTime Player, or you could pick different locations by hitting the drop down arrow and then pick the location where you want to save it. In my case I'm just going to click SanDisk, my external USB drive. And uh, there you go, you hit save. It's going to take a few seconds for it to save and it's done. If you want to go back to playing the video you could go to the most recent recording and the video should take a few seconds for it to develop and that's that. Once you're done as you can see right here the video is taking a few seconds for it to uh, develop. Once it's done and it's all set there you go This is the video. Hit play. Right there. Close this.
close it and you're pretty much done hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching